<clears throat> All right, uh, we are rolling. Greetings. This is Terra Illumination, and this is for you, dear Pisces. It's your general report for the March 2018 season. Okay, cards were well shuffled in advance. We're going to the last second so that you're a witness. No jumpers, no flyers, no oracles, no reversals. Not enough time, not enough space. So let's see what happens. We're going to use the journey, the heart spread. And for you, uh, Pisces, you might be feeling just very, very, very lit up at the moment. The best of yourself and the most difficult parts as well because of this huge Pisces stellium happening right now uh, for March. A lot of planets. I'll just show you very quickly. And we did this in the uh, relationship reports too. <clears throat> Here we are. We, Sun, Neptune, Mercury, Venus, and Chiron all lit up, okay? It's hard to ignore this, especially in this time period, Feb 25th to March 4th. It'll diminish after that, but when it comes to the new moon around March 17th, I think, it's going to be very strongly lit up, so you might feel a lot, might be feeling extra, extra super sensitive, okay? So that would be for you, okay? Right there in your first house, so to speak. Pisces yourself being very lit up by Pisces energy, all right? So, you know, just allow for that, okay? Let's not read too much into it. This is a very general report. It's for lots of people, and it's going to be different from each for each one of you. Watch for your sun, moon, and rising, of course, and then reinterpret however you want. So we're going to jump right in in just a moment, okay? Just a moment. <clears throat> I need to feel good. Uh, Terra Illumination Angels are here, and let's just uh, invite yours in too, okay? Just for the time of this reading, if that's all you need, okay? I try to do it 24-7, but, you know, sometimes it's not sustainable for all of us, but we'll see. Anyway, here we go. All right. So let's bless this reading. All right, here we go. This one's going to be for you. <clears throat> this would be you at the very core heart of yourself, perhaps not even understanding the language here. The heart knows what it needs, knows what it wants, and it's up to us as conscious, sentient beings to feed our heart, to nourish ourselves, to love ourselves, so that it can get on to the next heartbeat. And over here is legacy energy. This could be history, baggage, past life, pain, current pain from the Leo Aquarius eclipses. It could be whatever it is, all right? It could be something magnificent. Over here is the energy of now, the ever-present now. We are currently in Pisces energy. That's the flow we are in the season right now. So you might be feeling this very face on and you might be almost say feel like you're being forced to stay very present even though your body might want to escape from all the the pains and sufferings of the past or escape into projections and fantasies about what could be for the future or dreading the so-called future or dreading the past Either way, the present energy can be very difficult for a lot of people to sustain because it means have to be having to be fully conscious uh, in the present to the point where the sense of time barely exists. You know, uh, Pisces actually in some ways can be good at that. If you get into that artistic, spiritual, dreamy, creative space where nothing else exists except that moment. However, Pisces being so sensitive, you can drift out of that and it can seem like, oh no, once you're out of that zone. Let's say you're uh, in the zone. Uh, this would be the energy of healing, uh, the, the, the decisions, the, the healing power of your decisions here. Every beat of your heart, you're making decisions about what to do now. How are you going to nurture yourself? This is the how question. How are you going to make decisions that nurture the heart, nurture you, love you first, so that consequently you bring the best of yourself to this earth which is uh, what's best for everybody, okay? Then this is the energy of what if. In other words, over here in our present moment, when we are, let's say, anticipating our so-called future as the next heartbeat unfolds, we are taking risk. We understand risk and reward. What if you mess up? What if you mess up and make poor decisions and uh, deny yourself the love that you deserve? What if you love yourself and nurture yourself accordingly, consciously, deliberately, decision by decision? What if? 
and over here prospects and momentum okay so i'm hoping you can see a heart shape here sort of like this and with this energy over here at the very core okay pulsing away we're going to look at circumstantial energy right here in just a second and this is not going to own you okay pisces you're going to make the best of this you you don't have to be floating around in this in totally totally unconscious okay so the hermit energy here my feeling that is that this Pisces energy right now in March is going to put a lot of pressure on you to go deep, deep, deep within and to discover what it is that is the cause of your own self undoing. Okay, that's almost the purpose of this uh, time period right now for all of us, but for you in particular. And, you know, not a lot of people like that. The whole idea of just being completely alone, uh, having to just be your own person and having no other guidance except your own internal guidance which you're going to have to let's say cultivate from within so please please see this as a blessing okay this is a chance to go deep within discover everything and anything that is not working for you think of that as the intense pressure uh, especially around the new moon when the sun and neptune and chiron are going to be really tight okay let's have a look here what do we got going on at the core okay enough is enough okay enough of the suffering Pisces enough is enough it's perfectly okay to draw a line I know Pisces you can be so compassionate and so like dissolved and melted into the collective the great beyond the love of another the love of another for you to the point where it becomes like a swirling indefinable uh, thing which just has like experiences and energies to it and sometimes a lot of that includes pain this could be like your heart screaming out saying enough enough is enough i can't take this anymore whatever you are doing to me dear conscious pisces person who's living in that body who is supposed to be honoring me the heart and the soul of you at the very temple of you the sanctuary of you uh, why are you doing this to me it's done we have to be rid of this okay that's what the heart is saying here it's time to be rid of this and love oneself first and identify every single thing that is so it's literally like writing a list of all the things that are not working for you, putting words to it, naming it, and then uh, telling it, uh, I own you, you do not own me, okay? Something like some, some, some kind of way, or be gone, just enemy, be gone, just the holy holy healing power of f u the holy power of no the healing power of no enough 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 okay that could be very hard for pisces to do because you don't often like to have to be the one who makes the hard calls the hard decisions the tough love okay you want something beautiful for everybody let's have a look what's what are you bringing in okay well at least there's a desire to make this happen it's like your conscious waking self is really fired up to face this it's almost like you know the best of yourself and the worst of yourself are facing off right now and circumstantial energy is very supportive for this to happen it's almost like you know like when you got those mma fighters and they're kind of circling and staring at each other and psyching each other out and one of them is all super hyper confident and the other one is looking all mellow and blank you can't read them to poker faced both of them know very well the world of deep pain both of them know very well uh, the passion and drive and the anger not the anger but the passion and drive and the desire to prevail over all those fears and overcome that so it might feel as though you are an mma fighter in the midst of your own mma fight like cage fighting with yourself shadow boxing with yourself right now let's have a look what about the ever present now okay it's pure it's very very pure it feels to me like it's is very maxed out this is like pisces energy totally maxed out now where uh, the, the highest frequencies of pisces energy are starting to permeate and flood through your life and world right now literally the healing power of love coming into your life and your world by invocation it's literally by um staring up at heaven and screaming at there and saying uh, i ask for the healing power of love to fill my life from up above bamo thank you very much and f this by the way f you f you f you and f you thank you very much because the soul 
knows that it's done. You don't need to be perpetually suffering. Pisces is very, very, very good at absorbing and taking on the pain and suffering of others a lot of the times without even knowing it. And it is time, Pisces, to treat yourself as a fellow member of the human race where you have a right to joy and happiness yourself and to love yourself first, which might be a completely uh, contrary and completely bizarre concept from your point of view. But that's what's happening right now. Some part of you at the deep core soul level is calling out for this, demanding this, and invoking this. And it is an opportunity now for this to happen. Okay, it really, really is. And only you can make the call. Only you can make the decision to invoke the healing power of love into your life. Okay, it's very, very important to understand that. What about the healing power of your decisions? Okay, well, with this energy right now, because it's so strong and it's right in your face, you can't escape from it. It might be pushing you into a position where this whole concept of having to turn into this almost like Aryan warrior and facing yourself down and deliberately wrestling down to the floor, the internal compassion junkie, the internal uh, human dumpster of the Zodiac and saying enough is enough. You have a right to clean up your own doo-doo and clean up your own dumpster. And uh, no one has to constantly, you know how people do that. People go wandering around at, late at night throwing their trash into other people's dumpsters because they don't want to pay to do the maintenance and own their own dumpsters, okay? People do that. And that's what happens to you a lot of the time, Pisces. You end up being the massive dumpster where everybody dumps their doo-doo because they see that you are open and loving and ready and willing and able to receive all the time according to the highest frequencies of Pisces. But you can see here in 3D that this is utterly redundant at some point where you have to draw a line in the sand and say enough is enough is enough. I ask for the healing power of love to fill my body from up above. And it's almost like you have to do it without the slightest clue of what this actually means or where it's going to take you. Because it might feel so alien to you as a compassionate, uh, compassionate person by nature to all of a sudden have to become extremely self-oriented. Very self-oriented. Speak it out. Okay? It takes a lot of courage. Okay, how are we going to do this? Okay. By admitting your innocence, let's just say by admitting your innocence that you never really thought of it in such extreme terms until now, where you're realizing, wow, maybe Terra Illumination is not talking out of his derriere, where he's always talking about self-love. And, you know, it's so easy to uh, reinterpret that as vanity or arrogance or selfishness or um, complete lack of consideration for others. No, 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 it's not that at all. It's in order to move forward here, making these decisions, literally willing to go blind into this whole new concept of loving yourself first and putting an end to this and putting this as your priority. It might feel so alien, but so desirable that once you actually get that very first taste of it, you realize how innocent you are, how we all are, including you, even though you've got super high advanced Piscean energy, which in some ways is the most advanced, but in its shadow side, it's the most crippled as well. So when you realize the positive side of this, the positive expression of Pisces, Neptune energy and the healing and how it's all about removing the obstacles, revealing, revealing what needs to be healed in order to be healed. OK, and you're innocent. You're you like you are like a representative of human innocence here, like you're carrying this whole journey and this whole awareness upon yourself. But that's okay. Someone's got to do it. Pisces is typically the sacrificial sign, you know. So when you're making these decisions, understand that you don't have to know the answers or the outcome or be able to write a book about this. You could say, it's, you could say well, I heard about this weird thing on Terra Illumination and it kind of sounded weird, but I think I'm going to give it a try. So you just give it a try and it's like, I don't really know. It sounded cool. It sounds like fun. Let's see if it works because it's kind of in alignment with what my with what um, uh, the way my history is building up for me, me now to do. Wanting to shout this out and live this out passionately for this to actually be real in my life as Pisces. I want this. I want this now. I deserve this. I'm willing to take the risks and go on the journey to make that happen. It takes courage. Uh, it takes a little bit of innocence and naive, naivety as well, um, because, you know, a lot of the times 
when we know the outcomes and how risky uh, life's situations can be, then we deliberately avoid them. We deliberately do anything to avoid these evolutionary paths. And instead, we resort to things like endless self-medicating or uh, eternally expanding yoga practices or whatever it is we do that can be incredibly subtle uh, to avoid having to do this. Okay, I know it sounds absurd, uh, but you can take things to extreme, like uh, being a compassion junkie. Uh, so anyway, all I'm suggesting here is that to like listen to the call that you're bringing in with you. Don't be shy about this. If this is just a momentary period of uh, like blazing courage and you really want to get on with it, take full advantage of it. Take the opportunity because this Ace of Cups would not be here unless you deserved it, okay? That's the whole energy of sacred uh, opportunity. It's there, but you have to be willing to accept it. You have to grab it when it's there. Let's have a look at consequential energy. It fires you up. In other words, it is a self-fulfilling thing here. It is a positive feedback loop. The more you practice this weird thing of self-love, the more it feeds on itself and it fosters more courage inside of you. It's just like uh, stoking up a fire to build up the courage to do this. And the more courage you have to do this, the more courage you get. And so that inspires you to keep the, the pump going. If you think of this as a pump and the heart itself is a pump, and then you are nurturing that pump, you are feeding that pump to, 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 to work at an optimal level in ways that you never really even might have thought were possible before, simply because of attitudes and concepts and conditioning. But now the door is opening for this to happen. What if you mess up? What happened? You know, let's have a look. You lose the opportunity. My feeling here is that love is as love does. Very, very powerful alignment here to understand that love isn't just necessarily a dream concept or something that you watch in a movie or wish for, or that you have to go out and hunt, that you have to go out and get, and that if someone doesn't love you according to the way you feel you need to be loved, then you're miserable. It's not like that at all. When you consciously, deliberately, willingly make these brave, bold decisions to make uh, love and healing, the healing power of love, your number one priority in life, above and beyond everyone else's doo-doo, that is a very, very big, bright green light message that you're sending to your angels into heaven, like, finally, Pisces has woken up, they understand. So heaven is now throwing you opportunities that are going to line up. Each time you nurture yourself, every heartbeat you nurture yourself in this way, heaven will provide you another opportunity to invest in yourself, okay? Tangible, tangible, physical ways that you will see as signs around you. You'll feel it in your relationships, your job, your career, your family, all of it. And that will nurture and foster new growth. Now, if you neglect this opportunity, this amazing chance to reveal it uh, so that it can be healed, and you demean yourself and undermine yourself continuously more and more, then this dissolves and goes away. And this dissolves and go away, goes away. And you end up pumping all your energy into more and more pain. It's like you're telling the world, hi, my dumpster is huge. It's even bigger than you could have imagined. So please throw the rest of your doo-doo there and I'll figure out how to clean it up another day. Meanwhile, it's, infect it's infecting your whole life. You don't need, everyone has their own dumpster. They don't want to deal with their doo-doo. They want to dump it on you. It's time for you to define certain boundaries here and say enough is enough. A new beginning, material, physical realities, boundaries, new structures, so that you can own this and give this the big healing power of no. All right, let's have a look. Prospects. You see? What happens is you do end up fostering yourself to the point where you might get a little dizzy. That's what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Cups. You could get a little dizzy once you actually start to see that this is a formula. This is a process. This is almost like a party trick, uh, like magicianship, okay? And who knew? Who knew? It's so, so, so simple. But simple isn't easy, especially for Pisces if you're used to giving it all away. And now having to suddenly flip around and tell everybody, excuse me, I've just realized I don't have to be the universal dumpster anymore. 
it's time for you guys to clear up your own doo-doo because I've got enough to take care of myself over here, including all your leftovers. Thank you very much. So it might make you feel very, very kind of wobbly and dizzy as you start to uh, incorporate all this new love coming into your life and your world and it feeds on itself again. It's almost like getting... It's like very, it's a very, very heady, intoxicating feeling once you realize how this formula works. It's a formula, it's a process, it's a party trick, but it's real. So love yourself, nurture yourself, allow it to happen. You're the only one who can do that. No one else can do this for you. You're the only one who can do it. And it, this is the really, really, this is the perfect time for you to decide to let love in, okay? Love and healing, okay? Bring all this love in to heal all of this. Half of this isn't even yours to heal anyway. It's someone else's, but you've inherited it. So you still got to clean it up. But anyway, you'll figure it out. All the best, Pisces. Love you guys. Okay, thanks for coming to Tarot Illumination. Watch your sun, moon, and rising. Do the cross-watching for the other special people in your life too. Bye-bye.